Hey guys, Buff Q here. Hope you're all doing well. Thought today I'd bring you guys a quick review on my Winchester model 1200 Defender. Okay, this gun is empty, as you can see. Guys, this is an incredible shotgun. If you can ever run across one of these uh, in a pawn shop or a gun store, anything like that, if it's in even remotely good condition, I seriously recommend picking one up. This was a very well-made shotgun, unfortunately no longer produced by Winchester. Um, just extremely tight tolerances for a pump action shotgun. I know that sounds strange, but if you can ever get one in hand, you'll kind of feel and see what I'm talking about. Okay, the, the shotgun overall has no, um, there's no like wobble, and a lot of pump actions kind of here in the fore end, you'll kind of get that back and forth wobble. Okay, there's almost none of that in the 1200 Defender. It has a 7 plus 1 capacity for 8 rounds total. It comes in at about 6.5 pounds. All right, so pretty standard for a pump action shotgun. All right, not a, not a super light gun, but it's also certainly not the heaviest thing out there either. It's got some really nice wooden furniture on it. Okay, both your fore end as well as your stock. Okay, nice furniture. It's not polymer. As well as a really beautiful blued finish. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to come across on this video. I'm filming it kind of awkwardly here, but um, hopefully you can tell. It is a very nice blued finish. <clears throat> this is the Riot model. All right, so you have the um, extended magazine tube, like I said, giving you 7 plus 1 um, round capacity. And it has the short 18-inch Riot-style barrel. All right, this is an excellent, excellent choice for a home defense weapon, in my opinion. Um, I also have the Mossberg Maverick 88. Okay, it's something I've had for a couple years, and I recently inherited this. Um, unfortunately, my grandfather passed away in early January. This was his go-to home defense firearm. The story he told me was when he had an opportunity to buy one of these back in the late 80s, <clears throat> um, he was with a friend at a gun shop. The friend of his was actually the one who was purchasing one, and my grandfather liked it so much, he said, well, will you give us a better deal if we buy two? And, uh, of course, the gentleman said, yeah, I'll cut you a little bit of a break if you're buying two at the same time. And that's what he did. I do still have the original box for this shotgun, so that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, he bought it in, I think it was 1988 or 89. I'll have to go back and look at the receipt, but I do have the original box for this. However, I can safely say, a lot like my Colt 1908 um, pocket pistol, this is definitely a firearm that I will never part with. Uh, it just has too much sentimental value, um, and uh, I just, I really like this shotgun. I do keep this um, fully loaded uh, and in a very safe corner of the house, okay? Um, so I do use this as well for uh, home defense. <clears throat> Other than the weight, um, and the capacity, like I said, 7 plus 1, comes in about 6.5 pounds. Um, obviously, pump action style, tubular magazine, uh, with a muzzle-mounted bead sight. Okay, if anything, that might be a slight criticism. Um, nothing back here on the tang, it's just simply that front bead. But for a home defense shotgun, um, I certainly don't have a complaint with that. It does have the rubber butt, uh, butt pad on the back of the stock there. Not much else to say about this gun. I Like I said, I, I just, I really, um, really like this shotgun. It feels very well made, very solid. Um, this shotgun does have an interesting history. I'm not going to get into it, but uh, it goes all the way back to the mid-60s, uh, beginning some service in Vietnam, and then um, you can go forward from there. So, like I say, guys, hope you hope you find this interesting. I thought this would be a, a good firearm to kind of start showing you guys in terms of long guns, not just doing handguns and pocket knives, because this is something that you don't just find anywhere. Like I said, Winchester no longer produces this firearm, so it definitely has, um, has kind of that attractive element to it just because, you know, you can't really find these anymore. If you do come across one of these guys, I seriously, seriously recommend picking one up. Um... The 18-inch barrel, you know, made for the, the Riot style is just really attractive. Fits very easily in the trunk of a car or, um, you know, in the corner of the closet. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time.